customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. This is Phil Ferguson for GoZips.com, and I'm here at the jar where on Keith Dambrot bobblehead night, the Zips made their coach proud as the Akron men's basketball team defeated Bowling Green 67 to 50. The win moves Akron to 21 and 4 overall and 12 and 0 in the conference and extends the nation's longest winning streak to 17 games. The loss drops Bowling Green to 10 and 15 overall and 5 and 7 in the conference. Leading the team in scoring was Zeke Marshall at 15 points and he also had nine rebounds. Alex Abreu and Nick Harney added 13, and Brian Walsh added 10. Here's what head coach Keith Danbrot had to say after the game. Well, um, first and foremost, great crowd. It's really nice to see. Um, you know, we just haven't quite been able to put it together offensively, but other than probably a four-minute stretch, we were really good defensively which allows you to be in every single game. We just have to, we just got to take that ugly duckling and polish it up a little bit and become better offensively, really. And uh, I think we will. We're, we're on the verge. We just, you know, we just haven't been able to put them all together at once, really. Like, <clears throat> today Zeke and Tree struggled around the basket, which has been uh, not the case most of the year. But I think uh, a lot of that had to do with their length. Their big, their big guy, their young big kid is, is a... Uh, is a dominating defensive player, really. He, he bothered us. Well, I thought Calhoun, Calhoun hit some stretches where we struggled with him. Um, Crawford, the last couple, three times against us, has tried to do too much. I mean, and uh, he's much better. For some reason, the last two, three times against us, he hasn't been very good. But without him, they, they struggle mightily. So um, he's a competitive guy. Uh, you know they they're they're very competitive. I mean they're 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 diffi more difficult than you think. Well, you have to be careful. I think there's no question about that. You have to be careful. Um, I, I'll say this about our team: we've had some bad moments, some good moments, some average moments. But the last four minutes of most games, we've been really good, and that was the case again today. And you know we've we've been good the last four minutes, and that's a good time to be good. So I just hope that we keep the jump. Well, they didn't play any zone tonight, out. They played man-to-man -man the whole way. Not one possession of zone today. So uh, they, they, you know, they sat in our lap. What they did tonight was a little different than the way most people play us. They, they played one-on-one -on -one in the post with no help and dared us to score in there. And, you know, we had some good matchups, like we had Harney on Luke Krause, which it's about six, seven inches there. And then, we, yeah, we milked that one. And then, you know, we thought Tree and Zeke, we thought Zeke had a pretty good matchup, but he's, he was one for eight or nine at halftime. And, uh, you know, that's the good thing about our team. It's somebody different every night. You know, uh, Tree's carried us most of the year, Zeke. And tonight, Harney was pretty good. And I thought Carmelo was really good. I thought he changed the tempo of the game. We we need to try to get him out there more. He's at the at the point now where we have to trust him a little bit more. It's a hard team to judge, you know. Like we're not the smoothest. We're not the smoothest operating, the most fluid team that we've had. But but we do some really good stuff. Like like we're really good at driving people off the three line and running them into our big guys defensively. That's a that's, a, that's probably one of the best things we do is, you know, there's very few uncontested threes out there. And, uh, you know, I think we've given up, what, 38% for the year, right? Is that right? Yeah. You're going to win a lot of games if you give up 38% from, th from the field. No, nah, I think, you know, I, I just think when there's 5,300 there, they're going to play. And when there's 150 at Eastern Michigan, it's going to be a little harder. <laughs> you know, I mean, let's, let's be honest about it. 
Um, and then, you know, like what I've hit them with is we have to work even harder now because we, we have an opportunity to do some things that uh, that's never been done here. So we have to ratchet up, make more sacrifice, try to play better and better and better and hold ourselves to a high standard in practice.